Hi guys, Michael with Open Book Build here. So quite a few of you have asked for a breakdown of the cost difference for a slab foundation versus a basement. And after going through a detailed analysis of the numbers, I was quite shocked to see how much cheaper a slab is over a basement with today's high building costs. Now let me first say that a basement is a great way to add living space. In fact, a properly built basement can be finished in the future to expand the living area for $50 a square foot or even less for owner builders. But in order to do it right, we first need to build the foundation with the proper insulation, drainage, waterproofing, nine foot tall foundation wall height for head clearance, rough in plumbing for a future bath, and escape windows so that we can legally add bedrooms. Now these items add to the cost for the basement, but they're necessary to make this lower level actual living space versus a musty basement with carpet and paint. We've all walked into those finished basements that are dark and damp and that scream that they were finished after the fact. So in this video, we'll be discussing the cost differences between this ready to finish basement versus the slab foundation. So in order to properly compare the cost, we're gonna use an example of a 2,200 square foot, two story home. So in essence, the footprint for the foundation will be 1,100 square feet for this cost analysis. So let's start our comparison with the excavation. Obviously, there's a lot more dirt that needs to be removed for a basement versus a slab, about 500 cubic yards, in fact. In either case, however, we need, our, we need our excavation contractor to mobilize their excavator and in many cases get permits to move the machine to the location of the new home. Now, this size foundation will take a full day to remove the dirt for a basement versus a partial day for the slab. The cost difference here, it's about $600 more for the basement. Okay, so now let's compare the concrete and labor for the foundation walls. Here we're looking at a difference in cost of $4,850. It's important to note that we're comparing a cold weather foundation here with footings set below the frost line. This photo is a slab foundation in a cold weather climate where there's an eight by eight inch by 16 inch footing with a four foot wall on top of it that extends down below the frost line. So we're looking at the difference in cost in going from a footing with a four foot tall wall poured on top of it in the slab foundation condition versus a footing with a nine foot tall poured concrete wall with the basement condition. We've also included three horizontal bands of rebar in the basement foundation wall for additional strength. So again, the cost difference for labor and materials to form and pour the foundation footing and walls is $4,850 more for the basement foundation. So let's add that to the $600 more for the basement excavation costs. We also need to apply waterproofing to the outside of the basement foundation to keep the water out and install insulation for the full height of the basement wall for the foundation to keep the basement warm. The slab condition still requires insulation, but only about half as much material. So the difference in cost for these two budget line items, $2,250 more for the basement. And let's, let's add that into the total cost so far. So when we backfill the slab foundation, we need to use stone or gravel to fill in the areas up next to the foundation wall so the slab doesn't settle and crack. This is called the overdig area. We also need to use stone around the drain tile in the basement foundation. The difference in cost between these two is about $1,000 more for the slab foundation. So we subtract that from our total additional cost for the basement so far. The basement also requires proper drainage around the entire perimeter of the footings to collect water and deliver it to the sump crock. Now we accounted for the stone around the drain tile previously, but the crock and drain pipe costs about $1,100 for labor and material for installation. Let's add that to the running total for the basement condition. The basement also requires a sump pump in most situations, so that will add another $400 for labor and materials for the pump and pipe. So we mentioned at the beginning of the video here that it's a good idea to add egress windows so the future finished basement can have bedrooms. Now these windows allow sleeping occupants another way out in case there's a fire. Unfortunately, these egress windows with energy efficient glass are pretty expensive at $2,000 a piece. And in most cases we use two, so $4,000. Now they not only require a window set into the foundation wall that meets the egress criteria, meaning someone can actually fit through them, but they also require a well with steps so you can get out. Now these egress windows also let a lot of light into the basement, so keep that into mind. Now, let's add these costs to the running total for the additional cost for the basement. So that does it for the below ground costs. 
Now let's look at the framing. Remember, when we add the basement, we now have the additional cost for framing the first floor decking with floor joists and tongue and groove subflooring. Remember, there's no slab at grade. Now we've got to build a floor for the first floor. And to support that floor framing, we typically have beams and columns below that. And then add in the stairs for the basement and your labor and materials for the rough carpentry and lumber materials are an additional $12,600. So let's add that first floor deck framing cost into our running total for the additional cost for the basement. One last major cost item for the basement is the electrical. For a basement this size, we need about six ceiling lights, an outlet for the sump pump, and a light on the stairs with a switch at the top and one at the bottom. Now this will add another $500 to the cost of the basement. One other important note for those of you thinking of turning your basement house plan into a slab. Remember, if you decide to change your house design from a basement to a slab, you need to create space in the first floor living area for a mechanical room to house the furnace, the hot water heater, and water meter. Now, sometimes people forget to consider this when they're comparing the basement to a slab. So the total cost to upgrade this sample 2,200 square foot two-story house from a slab to a ready-to-finish basement is a whopping $25,300. I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot more than I had estimated in my head before going through this detailed analysis. So that's about it for today, guys. Thank you for watching.